The word of the day today is slimy. Every time I say the word slimy, a Gen Xer gets a new flannel. The Red Hot Chili Pepper singer Anthony Kiedis has been quite the strange boy over the last three or four decades, and today we're gonna rip that drama wide open with our bare hands. But before we do, my name is Dan Frampton. Welcome, hope you're doing good. If you comment on this video within the first three hours of it going up, I will reply. I might just say lol or lamal, but you can try to bait me into a conversation if you want. Oh yeah, and going forward in this video, severe trigger warning. Morning. This stuff gets dark and disgusting almost immediately. Our boy Anthony has admitted to and been charged with a whole bunch of really disgusting predatory stuff. I'm gonna do my best to tell this story as safely as possible for YouTube, but this stuff gets pretty nasty, dude. So buckle up. I hope you're watching on an empty stomach. Let's get going. The majority of the stories I'm gonna talk about in this video come from Anthony's autobiography called scar tissue. He might have been embellishing and exaggerating to sell copies of his book, but we're gonna take him at his word because he claims that all of these stories are true. This is his true life story. So before we get into all the crimes and stuff and all the victims of him, the Anthony Kiedis childhood trauma needs to be explored just a little bit. This is a very famous story that Anthony's been telling for as long as I can remember that when he was, I don't know, 13 or 14 years old, his dad had a girlfriend and his dad let Anthony Kiedis have relations with his girlfriend at a very young age while they were doing drugs and having a great time like that kind of thing. That is the trauma that we're told about Anthony Kiedis and that's going to inform all of the stuff going forward with this monster. His series of victims starts when he is 23 with 17 year old fashion designer Jennifer Bruce. Now before I get going, I don't really want to discuss like the whole legality and stuff. This is disgusting stuff. This is an adult and a child together, okay? I know some places have an age of consent of 16. I think that that's gross. And the other thing to consider is that this is happening in California where the age of consent isn't 16, it's 18. So still 17 is a minor and 23 is a full grown adult. Keep in mind, Anthony 23, Jennifer Bruce, 17, as I read this excerpt from his book. Like me, Jennifer was a very sexual being, although she had very little sexual experience. I've been going strong for a while and was very sexually attracted to her. When we started making love, I asked her if she ever had an she said she hadn't. That's all I'm gonna read from that. It, there's more there. It's really graphic and disgusting. And he's still just going as the lead singer of the Red Hot Chili Peppers. And we're gonna get into modern day Anthony Kiedis creepiness very soon. But before we do, let's talk about 24 year old Anthony Kiedis. While he got one year older, his next victim got one year younger. Ioni Sky in 1986 was 16 years old and Anthony Kiedis included a revealing picture of her in the autobiography that I'm talking about. So I'm hoping that was taken at least two or three years after they met each other. Otherwise, that's a whole different set of charges being laid on Anthony Kiedis. All right, we're gonna read from his book again. Plug your ears and go na 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 for 30 seconds if you do not wanna hear this. I do not blame you. He's 24, she's 16, and he writes. She was also way too curious about everything. It was an energy that she didn't verbalize, but it worked for me at that age. It worked for you at that age, Anthony Kiedis, huh? <laughs> That's pretty disgusting. And he's just out here admitting to it, dude. I, I don't understand how this is flying under the radar so much. This is an adult having with children and he's just bragging about it. And if you notice the trend in this video as the ages go lower and lower as we go further, yeah, we're gonna talk about the Catholic schoolgirl who he sings about in the song Catholic Schoolgirls Rule because she was 14 when he was 20 and he writes this. The next day we drove to Baton Rouge and of course she came with us. After we got off stage she came up to me and said, I have something to tell you. My father's the chief of police and the entire state of Louisiana is looking for me because I've gone missing. Oh, and besides that, I'm only 14. I wasn't incredibly scared because in my somewhat deluded mind, I knew that if she told the chief of police she was in love with me, he wasn't going to have me taken out to the field and shot. So we had one more time. Oh, is that right, Anthony Kiedis? After she told you she was 14. 
Is that so, you say? Are these crimes too old? Can this guy be P. Diddy? Can we indict this gentleman right now? What am I reading? His next victim came when he was 32. Her name was Jamie Rashar, and she was 17 years old, bro. 32 and 17. That is a full-blown adult man who's walking around going, oh my back, and everything at 32 years old. And 17? That's someone in high school. I don't know how else to, uh, like, stress that. That's not only creepy and weird, that's like full-blown illegal predatory throw this man in jail and have him sh** while he's there kind of thing. Who is this man? Oh my god, let's see what he had to say about her. The next night, we had an out-of-control, over-the-top, actual encounter. She rocked me in a way I hadn't thought was possible by a person of her age. 17. Yeah, he stresses that in the book. By her age, 17. That's plain English. That is what he's out there saying. What the absolute hell is going on in this world? Let's dive back in. This is the last paragraph from this book before we get to the actual charges and video clips condemning this man. Yeah, we're only like halfway there. This guy's been on a f***ing menacing spree for I don't know Know how long? Well, I do know how long, since the 80s. On the way out of the restaurant, I persuaded a gorgeous Japanese girl and her fairly homely friend to accompany John and me back to the hotel. After about five hours of non-stop, subtle, loving coercion. What? Uh, excuse me? Huh? Non-stop, subtle, loving coercion, you say? Ah, that makes me feel really weird in my spine. I don't like the way that that sentence sounds. Okay, he's just saying the quiet part loud. I have no idea why, just saying it. It really is as brazen as OJ Simpson writing a book, If I Did It. Oh, he did that, right, okay. Moving on, 1989, he was charged and convicted for battery. From the Los Angeles Times, I read, Anthony Kiedis, lead singer of the rock and roll group Red Hot Chili Peppers, was convicted in Virginia of sexual battery and indecent exposure after a concert at the George Mason University in Fairfax County, Virginia. On April 22, 1989, jurors recommend that Kiedis, 27, be fined $1,000 on each charge. The court judge found Kiedis guilty of both charges and sentenced him to 60 days in jail. Okay, 60 days in jail and $2,000. And basically what he did during this assault, I don't even know if I really want to describe it. It involves thrusting unclothed genitalia in someone's face during a concert. Oh my god, dude. But Anthony Kiedis denied ever touching the woman, but others said that they saw the incident, and a band member admitted he made an encouraging statement. Oh, okay. So they support this kind of behavior, do they? Okay, cool. So everyone knows. Okay, cool, cool, cool. It's not an open secret. It's just like openly known and bragged about and written about and documented for decades. Then we have video clips. I don't know if I really feel comfortable enough to play them all the way through. They're extremely uncomfortable. I do not like this, but these are two incidences of Anthony Kiedis forcing himself onto women who are just there to conduct an interview. The first one happened in Toronto, Ontario, Canada at Much Music to a host named Emily M. And as you see in this freeze frame here, this is the culmination of his advances. Very disgusting stuff. Years later, Erica goes on to write a LinkedIn post that I'll throw up on the screen right here. Pause it and read it if you want. But this kind of stuff just like doesn't fly with me, bro. Who the hell are you? But it seems like he kind of does this kind of stuff away from American soil because in Britain, he did this. This is Cleo Rakos. Don't really know how to pronounce that name. She's kind of a comedian over there in the UK. Anthony Kiedis went on to some show to play some song and then afterwards there was some like couch section. And here he is just sticking his head up her skirt, just nonchalantly, not gonna show it. This is a crime. I don't wanna show this, this is disgusting. But this freeze frame is just like a few moments before it happens. I do not like it. If 40 years later it's making me feel this uncomfortable, I have no idea how Cleo would have felt in this moment. Troubling, to say the least. But I hear you over there. You're like, oh, Dan, this is all those years ago. He's a better guy now. He's totally reformed. He's totally in an age-appropriate relationship now. No, no, no. I will give you this, though. The relationship that he's in right now isn't illegal, but he is 31 years older. He's 61, and she's 29. Her name is Helena Vestigard. And just take a look at this picture and don't tell me it's the creepiest f***ing thing you've ever seen in your entire life. Okay, I'll give you three seconds. Three, two, one. Creepiest thing ever. What is this picture? Can anyone tell me what this picture is over here? Other than the grossest thing you've ever seen in your life. It isn't illegal. It's totally above board. 
You know, she is 29 and he is 61. But would you look at this image? Do I have to describe to you what we're seeing here? God. Damn, it's so shocking that I start to look at the things in the window being like, oh, that's a delicious looking lemon loaf back there. <laughs> I just want to look anywhere else. Helena Vestigard, run girl. Absolutely get out of there. As soon as he sees one wrinkle on that face, this man is running for the hills. The rest of the band aren't much better either. I'm not going to get into all the allegations, charges, and sweeping accusations I have for them, but good God, the Red Hot Chili Peppers are as slimy as it gets. And he's still just out there parading around, doing his thing. No big deal, right? Okay, I guess. But those were the victims of Anthony Kiedis that I could find. I'm sure that there's way more out there. He's not a good person, not by a long shot. But you know who is? You. Thank you for watching this entire video. Pretty awesome of you. If you enjoyed it, please remember to hit like, subscribe, and until my next upload, watch another upload. Okay, see you later. Have a good one.